Hi guys, it's Gabby. So today is going to be my Christmas get ready with me. Okay, so I just put in a nose ring, um, like a hoop. I had the stub before. Thought I'd switch it up, you know. <coughs> I just joked. <coughs> okay, so it is 1.10. I just checked the time and I have to be ready by 2. So let's get on to this video. So first things first, I'm just going to put my hair up. Literally, so exhausted. It's Christmas and it's like, bleh. I actually have something interesting to share with you guys. So, while we're getting ready, I can share. So, in the very, 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 very first Vlogmas that I posted, if you guys checked it out and saw, you would have known that I talked about this really weird thing that's been happening to me. If you're not aware of it, and if you haven't watched my first vlog, then I will quickly fill you in. So basically, long story short, in September, I started getting these really weird, I'm not going to say rashes because it's not a rash, it's like swelling like a big like swelling like on my hands and at first it started off on my hand and I was like oh this is weird didn't really think too much of it I thought maybe like I hit myself or something and then it kept happening then it happened on my lip and then more on my hand and then it started getting bigger and if you guys want to see pictures and all of that go back to my first vlog I literally um posted it but but yeah and so at first it was happening like once every few weeks and then it was happening once every single day and then multiple times a day so I obviously made an appointment to go see my regular doctor but I wasn't able to see him until literally just a few days ago and this started happening in September so I went to go see a dermatologist because I forgot who recommended me to see one but someone did so I went to go see a dermatologist and because, you know, it's on the skin. And he basically told me that it looks like I have, um, it looks like hives, which is basically like an allergic reaction to something. But I'm not allergic to anything that I know of as of now because I've gotten tested for allergies when I was younger and, you know, I was fine. Like, I'm not allergic to anything. But clearly there's an issue here. And so, so basically he told me to take an Zyrtex, which is basically like an allergy pill and he said to take one every single day um and if it shows up take two a day and then do that until you get tested for allergies so i'm like okay so i went to go see the dermatologist in the beginning of december december 4th to be exact and it's now december 25th so i was taking one zyrtex every single day i did not get a single breakout since december 4th and then when i went to go see my regular doctor i obviously told him what had happened and everything was good but he basically said oh like you shouldn't take uh the zyrtex because it's going to interfere with the testing when i get tested for allergies i don't know what that meant <laughs> so i was like okay so should i just like stop taking them and i'm pretty sure he said just continue to do what you're doing but i just stopped taking it because i'm like what's the point like i'm just like no so i stopped taking it a few days ago and today i got a breakout on my hand as you can see it's okay well <laughs> it's not this one's not as bad but as you can see it's like bump and it's it gets red and hot and it's not itchy but it's like there and it's just crazy because i got so many of them and as soon as i started taking the allergy pills it went away completely and i didn't get it for weeks and all of a sudden i don't take it for two three days and i get a breakout so tomorrow i'm actually getting tested for allergies and I looked it up because I obviously don't remember when I got that done when I was little. So this should be interesting. I honestly low-key just or high-key just wish I am allergic to something just so I know and this can stop happening because this is not normal. <laughs> like I, I've gotten them so, so many times. I don't know if I'm going to vlog um, or you know what? I might just make a story time or something on it, but I literally got them everywhere so many different parts of my hands my knees my ankles my feet like it was just crazy and it was just so annoying i mean it didn't hurt but it was just like come on like it's just you know not needed like it just feels like a bunch of pressure kind of and you know so that's the issue right now and so i kind of just want to know what i'm allergic to i hope it's not something like major because i'm like genuinely thinking about it you guys know i talk about this all of the time i am the most pickiest person ever i don't eat shit 
I don't eat anything. I don't eat seafood. I don't eat anything on a bone. I don't eat sushi. I don't eat veg most vegetables. Like, I don't eat most fruits. Like, I don't eat certain sauces. And I just, I know, like, I'm just so picky. And so I don't, I didn't change my diet that I know of. Like, do you know what I mean? So, like, it's not like all of a sudden I'm, I was introduced to a new food. Like, it's the same thing all the time. So I'm thinking that I either just, you know, became allergic to something just out of the or out of the blue or you know it's like an ingredient or something or like dust i feel like it's going to be something really stupid um but you know i'll find out tomorrow i might make a separate video i might vlog tomorrow i'm not really sure um because i have enough footage um as of now uh today is like i said this uh is christmas so i plan on posting a christmas vlog a christmas this get ready with me i planned on doing a new year's eve outfit video and um what i got for christmas and that's that oh and then um my cousin's birthday so those are all the videos that's gonna basically last me till the end of december so i don't really need another vlog so maybe i'll just like add an extra one just because i will but i don't know we'll see so very curious to know what's been happening because clearly an issue um but yeah so that's kind of what i'm gonna do tomorrow so i have to go to get tested for allergies around 12 my dad's gonna come with me and then after that i'm hanging out with anna my best friend i talk about her all the time she is home from college she goes to college um a few hours away and so yeah we're gonna hang out really really excited i haven't seen her um in a while so this should be fun Actually, no, I lied. I saw her in the beginning of the Vlogmas, but only for like a day. She was barely here because, you know, Thanksgiving and like give you so much time off. But, you know, college, um, when it comes to like Christmas, this is where they really give you off, which is awesome because, you know, the semester's over and everything. But yeah, so we're going to go ice skating. I don't know if I said that already. And then going to go out to dinner. Don't know where yet, but I assume we'll figure that out, obviously. So like I said, I might vlog. I might not because, you know, I kind of want to just live in the moment. I just, I can't. Okay, let's just blending this out. I feel like I've been, okay, I have been spending so much time on this. I'm gonna finish blending, I will be back. Wow looking a little crazy okay so i just uh baked my face i did it off camera because i didn't want to spend any more time on uh blending foundation concealer like i always do i always say that i'm not gonna spend that much time on it but i always end up doing that so sitting and waiting and i don't know if i'm gonna do anything for the eyes so stay tuned and take my morphe palette and go in with this shade right here so i'm just gonna apply a base i'm not gonna do um, a crazy eye look like I did yesterday. So, not crazy, but I'm not going to do an eye look like I did yesterday for like, my Christmas Eve get ready with me. If you guys want to go check that out, you definitely should. I've been trying my best to film a bunch of videos. I'm so proud of myself. I, I genuinely thought, okay, I'm going to be honest here. Uh, my goal was to obviously post every single day of December, and I vlogged, um, I started vlogging a week or a few days before December had actually started because I wanted to have content for obviously the beginning of the month and my goal was to post a video every day but I just I said this I say this all the time I'm just a regular person you know I'm not doing something exciting every single day like, there's going to be that one day that I'm not like doing anything and so I thought that there was going to be maybe a day or two that I missed a vlogmas because I wasn't going to have content and so I, I have I've been really, really like pushing like I gotta film I gotta film something you know and so I'm just so proud of myself and I like did it and I'm gonna finish off strong I say this all the time but sorry I'm just very proud of myself you know I you think it's easy like at first I was like yeah it's gonna be easy and I'm like oh crap like a video every day of the month like that's insane but I'm loving it though I already have planned um, January's videos so like I have a bunch of stuff that I want to film in the month of January it's gonna be like New Year's Eve stuff and just like regular like getting back into you know the other videos that I want to film and also I say this all the time if you guys have any recommendations for videos comment down below ask me questions I always you know if you guys ask me for a video idea and it's like I want to do it obviously and like it's a good idea then I'll do it 
I did the straighten your hair and just, you know, stuff like that. All right, so I think I'm pretty good here. Okay, so now I am just going to take this shirt and I'm just going to rub off. Oh, do I have my chapstick with me? Yeah, I do. Okay. I'm going to rub off here on the lips. And the eyebrows. All right, good enough. Now I'm going to go in with some bronzer. I'm so excited because I got a lip gloss and lipstick for Christmas. So I'm going to wear that today. Really excited. I showed it in, in the beginning. Sorry. I had to... <laughs> um, okay. Now in with some bronzer. Here we go. Same old Becca bronzer. I want to get some new makeup <laughs> and my new makeup I meant like once my foundation is done I kind of maybe want to switch it up but I like this foundation though and it's cheap too so I don't know I'm always scared not scared but when it comes to foundations I've tried a lot a lot I've bought what did I buy I've I've tried a lot from Tarte a lot from what was it oh my god what are the names uh Kat Von D and just like who, who else did I try from oh Fenty and so I've tried a bunch of stuff and like a lot of oh NARS I didn't like like I remember Kat Von D being extremely drying um the one that I had used a few years ago I remember it being really really dry the NARS I remember it being extremely liquidy and just really hard to blend um, and then I remember the Fenty. I'm going to be honest. I don't know what it was, if it was me or what, but I remember I tried it and it was just so hard to blend. And it just like, I, I didn't like it. I don't know. There was just something about it that I didn't like. Um, and I don't know, maybe it just wasn't for me or whatever. Cause you know, everyone raves about it and Ritz Rihanna, I mean, come on. Like when she, you know, got that launch out, I was like, woo girl. This is what every makeup brand needs to do like this shade range and you know, whatever um, But yeah, so I don't know. I didn't really like it. So eh, whatever So that's why I'm kind of like Ugh, to spend like $50 on like a new foundation and to not like it, you know And like god forbid they don't like ex like, you know, take it back or whatever So I'm gonna finish doing my bronzer and then I will be right back did a little bit of baking to just straighten this out over here so going back in with my powder sorry hold on this set is kind of weird okay I'm um, just gonna lighten it up a little bit this is a great way I forgot what it's called um, but it's a great way that if you put too much bronzer not that I put too much bronzer but just to like even it out a little bit to kind of lighten it up so what you would do is uh, you would just go like that and kind of just keep going in with the powder to make it lighter there's a name for it I forgot but <laughs> I do that sometimes if I put too much or if I just you know whatever okay so now I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of blush I'm not even gonna bother to do like highlight I'm just not <laughs> in the mood to do that so just going in with the balls of my cheeks love blush look like look how cute that just made the whole face love it okay now I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera just finished doing my brows not gonna do any highlight like I said um, but yeah so right now I'm just gonna finish off this look with a lip so I finally got a lipstick um, this is from Morphe got it in my as part of my Christmas gift so a little sneak peek because I will be doing uh, what I got for Christmas um, but yeah so this is in the shade um, Comet. This is by Morphe and it's supposed to be a good nude. So let's see. I tried it on earlier, but I didn't have any makeup on. So cute. Oh my God. Love it. Hold on. I need a, a Jeffree Star here. I don't think this is matte because, you know, because I tried it on earlier and it wasn't like dry so I just assume that with dryness I don't know okay really pretty love that okay cute and now I'm gonna be taking this gloss from Morphe as well this is in the shade Frose Fosse FR 
Really pretty. It looked really pink online, which is weird, but it's like nudie in person. So just gonna add to the center here. Oh my god. This looks so pretty. I love this. Wow, super, super cute. Okay, so that is the end of this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. This is my Christmas Eve. No, I lied. Christmas, get ready with me. New lip. Try the new lip on Christmas Eve. New lip on Christmas Day. You know, try new things here. Okay, love you guys. Bye.